How about that? What? Yeah, metastatic renal cell. Nests of clear cells in the dermis, vessels in between, uh, real pale cytoplasm, big nucleoli, always keep renal cell in your differential for clear cell tumors in the skin. One other thing that can kind of make nests of clear cells and be in the dermis. What if I told you keratin's negative and uh, HMB and actin and Desmond are positive? Bloom cell nevus, bloom cell, nevis, bloom cell melanoma, you can think of those. Yeah, yes, very rare in the skin, but yes. High lines of clear cell carcinomas. And also, um, uh, P-comas could look potentially like this. And p is stained with CD10. I don't personally love CD10 very much as a marker because it stains a lot of things. It's very nonspecific. And it stains P-comas too. So for renal cell, the markers I like is like pan-keratin, keratin-7, stains most of the renal cells. Um, PAX-8 is a great stain for renal cells. That's the one I really go to. And the most important thing, also, if you're thinking about um, primary clear cell tumors of adnexal origin, doing a P60 through a P40 will help you because it's essentially always negative in renal and almost always positive in clear cell adnexal links. I've seen a clear cell hydradenoma that was called metastatic renal cell. It was the clearest clear cell hydradenoma I've ever seen, but then they scanned the patient and their kidneys were negative. So then they sent it for consult and I was like, oh yeah, it's actually hydradenoma P63 is positive and had vocal duct differentiation. So it all worked out well in the end, but that probably was not a great experience for anyone involved at the time. So. So this is renal cell that's met for the skin.